Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel All Tech Queries, a YouTube channel where you will find solutions for all your technical queries. So today we are going to explain the ruler option in MS Word and Google Docs. So the MS Office and Google Suite are the two most used Office products in this world. So that is why I have to choose these two products. However, if you are using any other Office product, you will find similar options there. So this tutorial will be helpful that for that as well. So in this video, we are going to explain about all the options of this ruler and how you can master the ruler option. So we are going to learn how to enable and disable the ruler, how to use the vertical ruler, the horizontal ruler and what are first line indent, left indent, right indent, bullet point indents and how to add and remove tab stops. So these are the these are our main topics here. So we are also going to cover some smaller topics on the way. So before we start our video, please like our video and subscribe to our channel All Tech Queries and keep supporting us. So let's begin. So this is our Google Docs and you are going to see this ruler option here. So if the ruler option is not available, if you can see here, it may be disabled temporarily. So one, what you need to do is go to this view menu and enable this option show ruler. So if, the, if you enable this option, you will see the ruler here. So there is similar option in MS Word as well. Go to this view menu and enable this ruler option. So you can also enable the option by clicking on here this icon. Okay, this will also enable the ruler option. So what the ruler does is it will add margins to all sides of our documents. So first let us talk about enable. So we have completed how to enable and disable the ruler. Now let us talk about vertical and horizontal ruler. So this is our vertical ruler. This will help you increase or decrease the margin on top and bottom of the document and it is located on the left side of this document and this is our horizontal ruler. So this will help you add or remove margin on left and right side of the document and this is placed on the top of the document and the same goes for MS Word. So if you can see here there is a white area and a blue area here. So there is something similar in Google Docs as well. There is gray area here. So this gray area indicates the gap here, the margin. This will indicate this is indicating the margin here. So if you move your cursor here, you can see the double arrow cursor. If you click on this point and drag it down, you are going to increase the margin. Similarly, if you click on this and drag it up, we are going to decrease the margin. And same goes for MS Word as well. If you click on this and move it up, so MS Office has something different here. You can see the margin here. Okay, this is going to help a lot. And same, you can use it for bottom as well. Increase and decrease the margin in the bottom. So that was our vertical ruler. Now let's talk about the horizontal ruler. Now there is something complicated here. You will find some different options here in the horizontal ruler, as you can see. So we need to ignore this for now. We are going to discuss about them in later in this video. Now, if you move your cursor here, you can see this double arrow icon, double arrow cursor. So if you see this cursor click on it and drag it to the left or right. Okay. Now in this you can also see the inches here, how many inches you are moving. So you are moving, you have moved 1 inch here. Now you are moving 0 0.5 inches. So you will find similar option here. Okay, do not move these, these things, just wait until your cursor turns like this. Now You need to have a good mouse for this. Okay, so this is how you can increase and decrease the margin, the left margin and the right margin. 
now let's talk about what are these points so these are similar in both google docs and ms word so what let us see if you hover over this you will get the option first line indent and this is left indent and this is right indent so what the first line indent do is you have to click on the context here first before using these options now the margin you have set will be set for all pages for every paragraph for every page in this document but this is different this applies only to the current paragraph so if you click on here now you can move it to the left or right okay so as you can see the other all these paragraphs are set as per the margin but only this paragraph is changing paragraph for heading or a single line whatever you say so as you can see you can move this to anywhere you want and the same thing happens in ms word as well so um, okay let me click here now move it here see this is the first line indent so it is only moving the first line of the heading now this is the left this is the bottom indent okay and this is also this will move the bottom line so let me show you in this as well if you move both then both will move now i want to move only the bottom line and i want to let us move this heading here so as you can see the first line is moved here and the other lines on of this paragraph are at this point mm, the similar effect goes on right indent as well see so this is how you can adjust the paragraphs in google docs and ms office using these indents so so just remember to click on the paragraph you want to change okay this works on paragraph to paragraph this does not work for the entire document so this is how you can arrange the paragraph as per your convenience so we have finished these three topics here okay now let's talk about the bullet point indents now this is very important as several people have faced the problems where they are unable to adjust the bullet points so if you select the bullet points here so oh, see we have selected the bullet points now you can see these two are separated here now this will this indicates the bullet points so if you move this the only the bullet points will move and if you move this one okay not this one and this side this one okay you need to be very careful here not to move this one then this is how you can move the text you can add space between the word the text and the bullet point so same goes with ms same goes with google docs as well so let me add this bullet points here okay now i have selected the bullet points so as you can see here so this is the first line indent this indicates the points here points are numbering whatever you have and this indicates the text so first you move the text then you move the numbers here okay so this is how you create space or remove space and if you move this here you need to select all this okay so this is how you can increase and decrease the space between the numbering or bullet points and the text so the third point is tab stops now what are tab stops so let me explain you it will be easy to understand in ms word so if you click here you can see this l symbol here now i am going to keep on clicking clicking here and you can see several points here 
so this act as the tab stop so when you are entering several numbers and values so let me show you a b c d now if you enter the tab you will move directly here okay this much gap you are getting because i have set the tab stop here and next tab stop is here and next tab stop is here so whenever you enter a value and click on tab it will move to this point so let me show you another example let me add several points here so see now if i hit the tab button now it will move to this point see see wherever i hit the tab it is moving to this point now there is similar option in google doc but it is even better here we have several values here see there is left tab center tab and right tab so let me add left tab here and let me add you have to right click on this ruler to get this options and select the center tab now right click here and select the right tab now what happens is when i click on tab i will move here and i am entering some values when i click on tab i am going to move here i am going to enter a value then again i will hit tab and enter a value now if you can notice here what it is doing is the left tab is changing the alignment of the text so your text is starting from here it from this point from this point your text is starting now this is center tab stop so what it is doing is it is changing the alignment to center so if you select this text its center is this point and this is right tab stop so the text if you add more text it will add on the left side and it will not cross the right side because this is the end so if you don't like this option you can add left top tab and you can change this if you click on click and drag this we are going to remove the tab stops so it is also easy to remove okay so let me add left tab here left tab here left tab here and left tab here so now let's see so these values have the starting point from here okay because this is left tab top not center tab top so this was center tab top tab so i think we have co covered all the topics here regarding the ruler and there is one more thing i like to add there is another method how we can add and remove the margins here now uh, first let me show you on google docs go to this file menu and go to this page setup and here are the margins option so first you need to change the paper size because paper size matters so this is the paper size and here are the values current values so if i want to change value an exact value i can add this value here and click on okay so now all the values are changed here so you will see similar option here if you go to this page layout option now here on the margins option here google ms word has added few more options here you can set choose from the defaults you can set as normal you can set the margins to narrow moderate wide whatever you want and there is if you click on this option custom margins you can use the same option here okay so these values are in centimeters here the values we were adding the values according to the inches now here it is according to centimeters so adding 3 centimeters on all side click on okay so we have added 3 centimeters margin on all sides so this is also a method by which you can add margins and remove margins or adjust the margins so i think we have covered everything about the ruler option so if you think this video was helpful then click on the like button it will be very helpful for our channel and also support our channel support our channel by subscribing it so that's all for today guys thank you for watching